Fuck so so it has been approved that we can say the fuck word. Yeah, you just did. Okay. All of the United States is looking to Denver, Colorado to see what is cool. You know, it used to be maybe California back in the day or maybe New York early along, but now everybody's really looking to Denver, Colorado to figure out what is cool. And when you get accepted by Colorado uh, as cool, well, then it just spills over to the rest of the world. You have to see the vision for this area on South Broadway. This area, so five fun. years from now, is going to look very different than it looks mm -hmm. right now. Right. I'm not supposed to film and give you my tools of the trades. Like I tools of the trade? Yeah. Separate but segments? In separate segments when you do it. Always ID yourself. Hey, this is Bubba Sparks, baby, and you're watching World Viral TV. You better know about it. World Viral. Here's an idea. Let's take a well-known local music editor, stick him in a room with a couple hot chicks, Chad Drew. The quintessential stoner. And then we'll force him to watch some videos of an uncensored, cracked-out motel shit show from next door. <laughs> Sound awesome? I like it. Tune in to Music Buzz Live Radio Wednesdays, 6 to 8 p.m., right here on World Viral TV. All right, News Buzz Live, we're here on Wednesday. My name is Moose, we got Chad Drew, we got CT back in the booth, and we got a really awesome show for you tonight. I don't know Hell if yeah. you've ever heard of a guy named uh, Kurt Cobain. I heard of that guy once. Yeah, he died. I heard okay. I heard something about he that. He died? Yeah, is he this died. A, this is recent, right? Yeah, well, it was a while ago. Oh, okay. So he died, but his legacy has apparently lived on, because now we have a Nirvana tribute band called Nirvanish calling in. At 6.30 tonight to talk about their upcoming show in Herman's Heights. That's pretty badass. That's awesome. And, uh, you know, I a lot of people worship Nirvana. They do. I, I, I liked them back in their heyday, dude, but they've kind of turned into oldies for me, dude. Oh, you totally. Know I mean? You know what? Like, I remember a few years ago I heard the Ramones on uh, Cool 105. And I'm just counting down the years now until Nirvana is on Cool 105. They're on 103.5 now. Are they so, really? Yeah. Yeah, so they're, they're on their way. <laughs> I imagine like, they would have made some know, cool shit by now. It goes though. from 106.7 to uh, 103.5 yep. to then Cool 105. It does, it's yeah. It's like a boom, boom, boom. Yep, yep. The progression. Yeah. The, the, gener the generational started. demographic. Yes. Geriatric. Geriatric, geriatric yeah, yeah. demographic geriatric rockers now. We're geriatrics <laughs> now. I imagine Nirvana would have made some cool shit by now if they if Kurt had not been taken out by Courtney and Dave. Do you think they would have mellowed? <laughs> I I was suspected that too, Chad. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if they would have mellowed. He was he was bound to go. Like if he didn't go back then, it was going to be between <laughs> him and Scott Weiland of like a race. They're going to be yeah. like who can take out themselves like more <laughs> grotesquely. In my Grotesque opinion, grotesque is a good word yeah. to use yeah. in this situation. Chad's on fire tonight, man. On fire. Must be that top five. I got, dude. I got. We got a great top five, right? <laughs> yeah. My friend Moose came up with uh, a pretty interesting yeah. question. We're talking about Craigslist tonight because on Monday morning I was doing a Craigslist post and I was thinking about all the crazy shit that goes down on Craigslist. Totally. And you know what? Some people aren't going to talk about their Craigslist stories, but some people will. Right. We had some pretty interesting submissions. In in my opinion, Craigslist is a lot like Walmart. Like you totally shouldn't do it. You feel dirty while you're doing it the whole time. Oh, the whole time. You know, like, but the, just cra like Walmart. The, the craziest thing that might come up about Craigslist tonight is that I first met Chris Thomas through Craigslist. That's scary. What? Yeah, is that yeah. right? We met at you some guys... crazy lady's house in Lakewood. Didn't we know each other before I think that, dude? We we kind of knew each other before that. But that was before, that was like right before I got my job at Music Buzz. So we didn't know each other like real well yet. We were on the prowl for, yeah. for bigger pastures from Yeah, did you, guys, did you guys fight over the crazy lady of who was going to stay at her house that night? Is that what you guys I did? I didn't want to stay at her house. No? No, I wanted to leave as soon I as I popped possible. it a couple times. Yeah, I did. You know? No. Hit her a couple. No. Damn it. That's awesome. I'm actually really excited for our pot guests. Our cannabis, our cannabis guests this week, I got two of them. And the first one is Kayvon. He is n he's known well uh, within cannabis. He's been one of the guys that's been fighting the fight for many years here in Colorado, affiliated with a lot of different businesses. Um, and he's trying to help get a really good surge with that Yes on 300. I know we had his buddy Emmett on the show a couple of weeks ago, but How this is... V voting week, dude. Yeah, voting how week. are we feeling? Like, what is the vibe around the city on the 300? I'm excited to get his take because he's right there on the pulse. All right. So no. let's I, we'll have I, to figure I live that in out. Lakewood, so I wasn't allowed to vote on 300. Yeah, and I live in Inglewood, but damn it, anybody that's in Denver, 
I really hope that this yes on 300, I hope 300 passes only because like it's something that has to happen. It's going to eventually have to happen. We might as well as pioneers of cannabis, the cannabis rev revolution here in Colorado, we might as well face this face this monkey in the room like right now that's right and we might as well say fuck the two steps forward one step back thing right. we might as well just take three steps forward it's true right the country needs that kind of progress dude there ain't no time to be taking steps backwards that's preach right. it preach it brothers no, not, dude cannabis what no <laughs> all right well hey uh, i know that uh if you shop at colorado harvest company you may have seen my friend chad drew in there before he uh he reps that twice. place all over town what they are, they are our longtime sponsor of this show Love them. Literally, we would not be doing what we do without Colorado Harvest Company. Very true. Also, ExtractCraft. Go check out ExtractCraft.org, the source. They uh, they just revamped it a little bit ago. Make sure that at, at checkout, you put World Viral, you get free shipping. It's a it's an awesome way to be able to cook in the kitchen. Totally innovative. You'll see some new new uh, videos coming out about it because there's a lot it's starting to gain some fire so extract craft this the source go check that out yeah it's perfect because the whole like craft culture thing is really big right now and people want to make good food and they want to go to good places and they want to do good things so extract craft allows you to extract oils from whatever it might be that you're extracting from even cannabis blowing, blowing up, your, up house. your house don't blow yeah. up your house <laughs> don't do that also if you need your red card, make sure you go check out HerbalHealthSystems.com. Channing is about to move into a new place. Very exciting. Um, got, a, got a wrap with one of his doctors the other day. Awesome things going on within the medical side of the cannabis revolution here in Denver. If you need your red card, if you have an ailment that you're questionable, uh, go check it out. Their doctors are awesome. HerbalHealthSystems.com with the S on the end. We've got an action-packed show. All of our segments, man. Hack That's it or right. exit. We got Motel a new Minute. Motel Minute. And you'll notice that yep. Chris Thomas just shaved his head. I baked it, man. Fresh. It. Look at yeah. it. Yeah. Dude. You're get you actually speaking of, of Chris's head, dude, Frank Conrad is about to join us, dude, and you're getting to Frank Conrad's status. Or else he's getting to your status. <laughs> Frank Conrad's Either status. Either way. Pod scientist Frank Codrad, Colorado Green Labs. He's joining us, dude. Uh, he posted up a a phone number to be able to call in and ask some questions if possible. Some folks might call in never know like that shit up hell yeah he's right. got frank talk coming up this saturday well yep. we're gonna be having nirvana call in at 6 30 so we're gonna take a quick break we'll be right back with pot talk this is music buzz live <laughs> sometimes it feels like the weight of the world falling on your shoulders Sometimes you feel like you're ready to give in It's up to you if you want to break through But you're getting older Take my advice if you're ready to begin If I were you, I'd tell 